very windy, rainy. It's actually Monday, November the 2nd. We've just had a, a storm, forget its name, that passed through. Um, probably be quite windy later on, but I have a fantastic sheltered little campsite. First of all, right, coronavirus. So it's November the 2nd, Monday. I planned this camp a couple of weeks ago. For people living out in the UK, you might under, not understand our tier systems in different areas. I wouldn't say we fully understand it all. Sheffield, which is where I've walked from, I live about a couple of miles away, is in tier three. So I'm not allowed to go out of tier three. Luckily, all these hills and moorlands on the western side of Sheffield are in Sheffield City Council. So I'm fine coming up here to camp. If I go about a mile further on, I end up in Derbyshire Dales and I'm not allowed to go in there. I have to stay in my tier three area or um, high risk, I think we called high risk. So that was the, 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 the camp was planned. And then obviously this weekend, uh, Boris has then come up with a lockdown on Thursday. So I'm quite glad I'd got this camp set up because it, it might be the last one for a little while and we might all be uh, going back to camping in the garden or something like that. Perfectly safe, fully isolated. There's nobody coming near me. Campsite, where were we going? I'm only about a quarter of a mile from the road. Uh, very easy to get back home. Uh, so yeah, it should be a good camp. So that was the camp set up. Now I like to have a theme with my camps, whether it's the view, uh, the weather. This one, which I've done before, is solely about cooking. One of my favorite uh, pastimes, including eating and drinking. What makes this one a little bit different, I've brought my oven with me, weighs a ton. Uh, I'm glad I'm not walking far. So the plan is, I know it's Monday, but we're gonna cook a Sunday lunch. We're having roast beef, Yorkshire pudding, assorted vegetables, roast potatoes, beautiful. So that is the plan. Like I say, I've got a little sheltered campsite, uh, hidden in a, a dip in the heather up here. I, I don't think I've ever used it before. I've uh, I've sat there in the daytime because it's fantastic views. I don't think I've actually uh, used it for a while camp. So I'm gonna head on. I've only got about half a mile if that to go. A lot of it is straight through the, uh, the heather and as it's just chucked it down it's gonna be a bit hard. I'll, I'll see you further up there, up, up the track up here. Well, I think I've got everything set up now. This is when you think, perhaps that dehydrated food weren't so bad at all. Just pour some water in. Now, nah, this will be more fun. I'll try and show you what we've got. That's the oven, which I think we've seen before. The little cupcakes, all for doing the Yorkshire puddings in. 
the tray underneath will be for the joint of beef with the that will close up and that's the lid there that goes to the top it's run off the whisper light got a joint of beef there couple of tatties which I'm hoping to part boil and then there'll be roast potatoes there's some veg there that'll just get boiled ah I've got to make the Yorkshire pud I've got some that'll be a next job what did I make? I've got some powdered egg plain flour and milk I've tried it at home and it worked so I've actually I brought exactly the same ingredients I bought proper milk because that's how I, what I used at home uh, it might have worked with powdered milk but I didn't want to risk it so I've got a little gas stove set up there that'll do the potatoes, the veg uh, stuff gravy that'll fit, do that lot so I've got a bit of preparation to do and then uh, we'll make a start and it most likely will have gone dark then so it ain't going to be easy to film obviously we've got a bottle of wine and a proper glass do things in style do things in style it's not going to be easy to film this is my little Sony um, and it's RX100 it's great in low light but the sort of it's not very wide you don't get a lot in my GoPro's useless in the dark but you can get plenty in so I might just have to film bits of it in here best I can we'll, uh, we'll see how that goes but I'll come back to you in a bit when I've got all my, my preparation done I think we might open that bottle of wine now. I think this is going to be quite stressful. <laughs> you can just see the lights of Sheffield in the distance. What a view. Beautiful it is. Well, I'm pleased to say everything's on its way. We've got the what will be the roast potatoes in there just going to part boil them and then they'll go into the oven there's a uh, I can open it up you can probably just see that there's a joint of beef in the oven sizzling away I'm going to get the the puds in later on onto the top shelf I've just shut that that's Yorkshire pudding mix I've got that all mixed so once those potatoes are part boiled I think I'll get them round the joint and uh, they can get it be getting on the way we've made a start with the wine uh, that's uh, sort of good uh, good news but uh, yeah what a place to cook a Sunday lunch Gonna get the potatoes round the joint now. As you can see, I've borrowed one of my wife's gardening gloves. Safety first. So hopefully, well that looks nice. I get these round the joint. Nice layer of fat over everything. Obviously, if you've brought your dehydrated meal, I dare say you'll be eating it now. I'm just going to have to wait a bit longer. So that's the, uh, the roast is in. Just getting well basted, I think, in fat. So we've probably lost quite a bit of heat now because I've had the oven door open. Anyway, no problem. We'll get the heat back up. The veg, I've got these little carrots. 
I found them in Tesco. I thought we'll have a few of them. So I'm going to get the carrots, uh, there's more to get the carrots on. They can just simmer away. And then it's uh, like with any meal. It's not that difficult, it's timing. So I've got to time it, so get the carrots going. And then uh, it's the broccoli and I've got some asparagus as well. So it's just timing that lot. You can see why I like this uh, this tent. 35 years old. But look at that for a porch. You don't get that in a modern tent. I love my Sulu. It's such a easy to put up, so strong. It's, it's a fantastic tent. But a porch is, you've not got a massive porch for cooking in. That is what you call a porch, where you can, you can get an oven, you can get a stove, you've got your bar set up, your water. There's, there's, every, there's everything set up in there. That is, to me, one of the best porches out. Well, it's looking nice. I just keep turning the the potatoes and sort of base them in fat and uh, browns them a bit. I've, I have turned the meat over as well. Well, that that is looking nice. Right, time for Yorkshire's to go in now. I've got the... Don't mess up. Right, so I can get these out. These have got hot fat in. So the Yorkshire pudding mix can now So I've just got to get them back in the oven. It's a bit like a pizza oven now. I have had a few disasters, but I'm not going to show you them. It might look like everything's going smoothly. But it's not. But we will get a meal at the end of the day. Oh dear, it's half stressful. I think the the biggest disaster was when I knocked the wine over. That didn't help. Then I forgot to put the oil in the Yorkshire pudding trays. I have to do it all again. Anyway, we'll get there. We'll get there. Oh, I can sit back a bit now. Another glass of wine, I think. While we're waiting for Yorkshire's to, to rise, just had a look out the tent door and the moon's coming up. Um, don't know if it's a full moon or what. I haven't got a decent camera to photograph it with, but uh, it's not bad that, looking out your tent door, city of Sheffield, and the moon on its way up. And the smell 
of Yorkshire pudding and roast beef. Beautiful. Right, I'm going to start serving now. So, try and carve this lot up. My plate's nice and warm from uh, being on the oven. Let's see what this is like. Gonna have to try a bit. Oh, that's nice. I'm gonna need a bigger plate. Mmm. So I'm gonna strain the the veg now. I've got ah, I've got to do the gravy. I'll take the the veg out. So we've got asparagus. These are my little carrots. Oh, a bit more broccoli. So that's going to be my gravy. Just, uh... So, that's it about ready. There was a slight interlude there. I lost the gravy. I gone and put it out and not realised it. So we made the gravy out of the veg water, of course. And there we are. Well, that's it. That's my tea tonight. Roast beef. Oh, Yorkshire's. We ain't got the Yorkshire's out. <gasps> Dear me. They should have gone out earlier. But they are Yorkshire pudding. So that's what this camp was about roast beef yorkshire pudding roast potatoes and veg and gravy in a tent beautiful gonna enjoy this The beef's nice, all cooked through. Roast potatoes are good. I must admit, I've never cooked anything like this before. It was quite a bit of a challenge. Mm. 
broccoli's nice, that's all done. Oh yeah, that's done. Cheers, and here's to a nice meal. So I think I'll finish this off. This is going to keep me going through the night. I have got a pudding. Two chocolate souffles. So we're going to have those next. Once I've uh, cleared all this stuff up and that. Lighting a whisper light in a tent is not advised. Right, that's the oven back on. So that roast beef was beautiful. But we've not finished there. We've now got a chocolate souffle to finish with. It says, just put it in the oven, 12 minutes, and heat it up. We'll see how it goes. I'm quite looking forward to it. I've actually got two of them, so I was only going to have one, but if you've got the oven on, you might as well pump both in. So we'll give them uh, 12 minutes see how they go. I think I've just got enough fuel. We're eating them anyway. But that roast beef was, uh, oh it was so nice. The roast potatoes were beautiful. That will, will fill me up that. This is just an extra. I'm working on the principle that if you bring a little glass, the wine will last longer. Once you put it in them big things, well, the bottle's gone. So I purposely uh, brought this little glass. Well, I think they are done. Oh my God, should they look like that? Chocolate, oh! To fly. Well, they look nice. Look at them chocolate souffle. Oh, that's hot. Mmm. Very nice. Very hot. You can hear how noisy the tent is. I suppose um, I haven't used it in bad weather for 30 years. So yeah, you forget how noisy a tent can be. I'll see you when I've cleared up them.
Well, I think we can say that meal was successful. Nice roast beef uh, dinner and a nice uh, pudding to finish with. I've had a cup of coffee to wash it all down with and uh, yeah, I think that's going to last me the night. As you can hear, the wind's got real, real blustery. Um, I think we're forecast about 40 miles an hour. I am in a bit of a dip, so I am sheltered. And this is an old tent. I'm, uh, it does not make some racket, I must admit. But hopefully it'll be okay. It was awkward to, to guy out and that. Uh, it's not my best pitch, but uh, should be okay. So, I suppose the, the biggest thing on the news, I'm afraid, is being COVID and how it's going to affect us all. I know it's going to affect the wild camping because on Thursday, if we're in a lockdown, we ain't really allowed out. So, all your camping videos will be coming from the garden. Um, that's the way it's going to be for the next month or possibly longer, who knows. I have got a couple of ideas. Uh, obviously anticipate this. I, I was going to do like a review of my sort of winter camping gear as winter was coming up. I'd actually picked a spot out, probably about a quarter of a mile from here, in a little quarry nice daytime video but looks like that'll be coming from the garden but it should be interesting uh, a lot of my gear hasn't changed over the the last i don't know five or ten years i mean yeah as you can see from this tent i think i did a similar video about five years ago and i've, I've sort of improved some bits and some new new bits of gear have come in but not an awful lot of change because it is expensive. This sleeping bag is a wrap of an archer. I've had it 10 years. Yeah, I could upgrade, but the cost of them is so much. I think I'll stay with this and put up with a little bit extra weight. But yeah, so that, that's a possibility, doing a, a video on my gear, a review sort of of my, my camping gear for winter. And then the other one I thought of doing, which will come from the pub this, so it's an opportunity to, 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 to sit in the pub, was how do I make a YouTube video? Now, everybody has their own methods and techniques. Uh, I see a lot of people, bump, on the mobile phone, they film it, they edit it. I could not do that. I need, I need to do all my filming, my audio, uh, which will be interesting how I go about that. I have to write everything down. It all has to be written out. I need a computer screen. I need a day to edit it. And that's how I do it. And I need the ideas. And how do I get the ideas? So that, that could be an interesting video. So that, that's a possibility as well for a, for a different video. So I'm glad I've got this campaign. I feel very lucky. 2nd of November, got a wild campaign. And 5th of November on Thursday, we're in lockdown. But we'll just have to see how it goes. So I think I'm going to settle down. Uh, got my radio, no, no mobile phone obviously, so I dare say I've got good reception here because I'm, I'm only half a mile probably from the village of Ringinlow, so it's got a reasonable reception. But no, I'll listen to the radio, listen to a bit of music for a bit, and then hopefully have a, a reasonable night's sleep, just bouncing about in here a bit. So, I will see you in the morning then. Good night then.
Good morning there. Bit of a wild and noisy night last night with the gusty winds. It's transformed itself now. Totally different. I mean, look at that out there. It's beautiful. It's as still as anything. Sun's up. Really nice day. Just getting my breakfast on the go. Pretty straightforward. Just boil, boiling that water up. That'll make me some porridge. All that is there uh, is uh, porridge oats and powdered milk. Bit of treacle that's in my pocket, just softening up. And then uh, coffee and, and that'll do me. What I plan to do then is, is get everything packed up. I hate packing up. It's, it's different when you're unpacking and setting up. It's a new camp. But uh, I'm never too keen on packing up. But I'll get everything packed up. Uh, I'll come back to you then and uh, we'll sort out how we're getting back. So I'll see you in a little bit. That's everything packed up now. The sun is out. It's a beautiful morning. Everything's feeling good. It's surprising how stuffing a winter sleeping bag into a stuff sack soon warms you up in the morning. By the time I got everything packed up, I was boiling. But yep, yeah, that's everything uh, packed up. Check the site. It's basically how I found it. So I'm gonna head back a different way. Only got to cut across here about 400 yards on a path. We hit the main road and then we'll drop down towards, not quite to Ringing Low Village. There's the Peak District Boundary Stone down there. I'll have a, a last word with you at, at, that, uh, at that boundary stone. So I'll see you down there. Just above the village of Ringinlow. This is the Peak National Park boundary stone. As you can see, well, that is a millstone. That's what the area was famous for, the Peak District. They used to grind these on site and then bring them into the, the grinding mills where they were used in the cutlery industry for sharpening up knives. Some of my great, great, great grandparents, we all lived in Sheffield 150 years ago and they were cutlers. I'm afraid you didn't live long because you got the dust in your lungs. But that brings this video to an end, I'm uh, sad to say, but it's still been a great camp. And I am so pleased that my uh, Roast beef and Yorkshire pudding dinner worked a treat. That was beautiful. I was better than I expected. A little bit stressful, but that worked out lovely. 
a nice campsite, beautiful views, and it's been a nice morning. What more could you ask for? Like I said, lockdown. Couple of, it's on Thursday the 5th of November, three day, two days time now. So that might bring wild camping to a halt for a month or possibly longer. We'll just have to see. I have got some good ideas, as I mentioned in the tent, for some videos I can do in the garden, in the pub shed. Be something a little bit different, but I can still produce videos and keep you entertained. And they might be interesting videos. Uh, I have got quite a few ideas, which I've sort of been saving up uh, for winter or a situation like this. Well, I've not got far to go. I've uh, probably about half an hour walk home and then it's just a matter of sorting my gear out. I like to spend a bit of time getting my tent dry. That is possibly why it has lasted 35 years. But it, it pays dividends to dry everything out, clean all your gear and put it away ready for the, ne the next camp. So I think that covers everything. Wait for the cars to go. So look after yourselves. I'll see you soon and let's get through this awkward time and get things back to normal. See you soon. Bye then.